Hello, art lovers. This is Idris Goodwin, director of the Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. I hope you are all safe and well. Uh, some of you sent some questions, and so I uh, am going to do my best to answer them. So let's get started, shall we? There was absolutely no way I could miss out on a chance to become the director of the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. It just, it's all the things that I'm passionate about. I won't bore you with, you know, all the details of my bio and my resume, but I've, um, I'm what they call the hyphenate, um, a writer, director, educator, performer, you know, um, I, and collaborator. I, I'm a, I would consider myself a professional collaborator and I love artists, I love creativity. I love educating, um, and this position allows me to uh, have sort of some of each of those things, you know, within my reach. Uh, but ultimately, I'm here to to advocate for others and to try to uh, deepen people's appreciation and love for the arts and see the arts and creativity as a, a human necessity. You know, air, water, food, and art. Yeah, there is no question that this really um, was a blow. You know, um, the venue, the Fine Arts Center is, um, you know, the building itself is is such a part of the experience because it's so beautiful and so vast and it puts you in the right mindset when you walk in and that's part of the experience. So um, to be without it is, is a challenge, but it's not something that we... Um, uh, that that's stopping us. It's slowing us down, but it's not stopping us. Um, there's nothing in our mission that says this has to happen in a building, you know. Um, so right now we're we're thinking big time about how do we um, use the digital space to continue to to um, engage with people, facilitate conversation, keep the arts in people's lives, um, and what opportunities does it have that maybe the the, the building doesn't have right it's not all negative it's like there are some positives um to to this change uh, but then also we're talking about ways to safely integrate people uh back into our space um again there is nothing that says um you know uh, uh, an exhibition um requires people to stand closer than six feet to one another or that there has to be more than 50 people in the space at a time uh there's nothing that says that a piece of theater or performing art has to be include you know more than ten people on the stage or more than fifty people in the audience. So we're we're exploring a lot of possibilities as well. So um, and and in doing that, have are making some exciting discoveries. You know, um, artists throughout all times and all conditions and all challenges will always do what they do, which is try to tell our story, tell the emotional um, narrative of of who we are, and and tell our history. Um, through through the visual, the the song, the emotive, you know, that's that's what we do. And as long as we're alive, we're never gonna stop doing that. Well, you know, I would say right now, um, our number one priority is how do we continue to do the work of our mission, um, but also from you know making sure that our our audience is safe, you know. Um, both our El Paso County writ large audience and also our student audience. Um, so that's our number one priority right now. And, and, and I think that once we are able to shrink that social distance, we're gonna be stronger for it. So that's, that's where we're focused right now. Well, that has been a conversation that's been ongoing um, since the Alliance was announced some years ago, and a lot of great strides have happened. Um, since then, students have you know, been integrated into the fabric of the FAC, and we're planning to only increase that. Um, right now, um, as we shift and pivot um, uh, ourselves uh, because of the crisis, um, you know, we're going big time on our digital platforms while also thinking about strategies towards safely reintegrating people into our physical space and students um, and other faculty members and other staff members of the college, as well as members of our um, arts community uh, across the region are key players in all of that. You know, we see ourselves as a bridge, 
You know, the FAC is a bridge between the campus and the region and the region and the whole world. So um, as we grow into the future, um, you know, the hope is that we become so integrated that folk can't even tell anymore, you know, who is, who's from where and who's from where. It's just, it's a, you know, we want a vital crackling and dynamic space um, that really feeds the college and also the whole region. That's why we're here. Thank you.